DI is one of the major pain points for students preparing for and appearing for the mains of bank exams. You would agree with me here. It's one of the areas which always troubles most of the students, majority of the students and so many students flunk exam because of data interpretation. I was going through a few questions of previous years just to, you know, so people keep talking about how difficult it has become, how they cannot do anything in it, right. So I was just going through a few previous years questions uh, on various portals. So I came across this test through uh, SmartKeda. This was, I think, uh, the SBI Clark mains paper two years back and I found a few questions that were a little different uh, than what used to be a few years back. So I realized that paper has gone a bit uh, uh, towards the logical side. So yes, the calculations and all are still there, but they are giving you questions now which are based on logic. So I don't know what you feel about it, whether it's gone uh, tougher or easier or what, uh, but uh, I feel that there is something more to do in the paper now. So ironically, many of the students feel that because it has got logical, it's got tougher. No, not really. So what I'll do today is that I'll pick a set from that paper, a set based on an actual clerk mains paper, SBA clerk mains paper, and I'll do it for you. My request to you would be to just look at it with an open mind, first attempt it with an open mind, I'll give you some time to solve it, and then look at the solution with an open mind, and then ask yourself this question, was it worth doing, or could I have done it, right? I have put in the link of that uh, test in uh, the pinned comment, I'll put it there and the session description so you can go through it. I would advise you to solve the complete test. It's a beautiful test, very wonderfully compiled. It's a good test series. You can look at that as well, right? So that's there. It's by SmartKeda. And uh, I'm going to solve this one set for you. First, the idea is to make you familiar with the kind of questions that have started appearing, right? Which is the first step to cracking anything and two, to make you realize that it's not that difficult. Oh, okay, you, you decide that on your own later. My job is to just show you the way it appears, right? So let's look at this question. I would want you to pause the video here first, look at the question, try and do it, and then look at the solution, right? We'll talk about it later after I'm done with the solution. Let's get started. So here's the question, guys, on your screen. You can see that the problem statement uh, is then followed by four questions. So it's four questions. It's a good set, worth attempting. It's logical in nature. And I would tell you one more thing about it. Not many people could attempt it in the exam. I'm not saying this, telling you this to discourage you. I got the data from SmartKeda. Uh, I am telling you this because I want you to get that confidence by solving it that you're good. Oh, Main says so much about confidence, that getting that confidence right. Fine. So if you do it, means you're good. Attempt it with all the sincerity. Do not feel tempted to go to the solution before attempting it. Get a piece of paper, get a pen, pencil, whatever attempt it, you will get that confidence, right? And afterwards, look at the solution. I might still teach you something, right? Can I discuss the solution now? So I'm sure you tried hard, you could get to the answer. Now look at the solution. Now this is the kind of questions that have started appearing off late in all the mains exam, SBIPO, SPI, clerk, IPPSPO, mains, much even RRPPO. And these are questions which are good, good in the sense that they are not very calculation intensive and you can do them really fast if you can crack them. Let's look at this data. What does it say? It's followed by four questions. So let me just do one thing. I'll remove the questions from here. Right, so this is the data. Not much. What does it say? Bus A has 10 passenger seats. Bus B has 12 passenger seats. So this is bus A for me. This is bus B for me. 12 seats, 10 seats. Simple data. On a particular day, each bus does four trips. So this is trip one, trip two, trip three, trip four, right? Now some data about bus A. The sum of the total number of passengers on all the four trips is 30. And so let me make it in the shape of a table, right? It says this number is 30. So this is the sum of all these numbers, right? One, two, three, four. Only on the last trip, all the seats are filled. This is for bus A. So how many seats are there? 10. So how many would be filled? All 10. And what we know is that for all the other ones, it would be less than 10. Less than 10, less than 10, less than 10, right? Do you remember this? I do not need to write this. Let's come to the data about bus B. In none of the four trips to all the seats get filled. Means what? That it would be less than 12 here. All these columns, less than 12, all these cells. In two of the consecutive trips, eight seats each were filled. Can you see that it is in the form of a 
puzzle kind of right two consecutive trips eight seats so i'll just put it like this eight eight where does eight eight thing go i do not know either here 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 somewhere but eight eight i'll just put it like that let's come to this combined data now what does it say the sum of the number of passengers in the two buses on the first trip is the same as the sum of the number of passengers in the two buses on the second trip it means that this sum here is same as this sum so i'll just put it like that it means i would remember this data it means that this sum yeah sum of this and this would be same as this and this right move forward on the last trip the number of passengers in bus a is the same as the number of passengers in bus b now it is such a simple piece last trip is fourth trip this is 10 it means what this becomes 10 any problem till this stage no it's very simple and this last piece of information now the number of passengers on the third trip of bus a is one third of the number of passengers on one of the trips of bus b but not on the same trip read it carefully the number of passengers on the third trip of bus a it is this trip here is one third of the number of passengers on one of the trips of bus b but not on the same trip so it means that this is not the third trip of bus b I avoid using x and y but I'll just put it here for once if this is x then one of these would be 3x it can be this 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 but here this is occupied this is 10 already fine 10 is not a multiple of 3 in any case so it cannot be this it cannot be this because it says not on the same trip now can we make use of this block here this one this that we made you know that so this 8 8 can come where it can either come here or it can come here but if you realize 8 is not a multiple of 3 this 3x we have to put this 3x here it cannot come either here or here 3x 3x so if i put this 3x here or here one of the two places one of these two has to be 3x in that case no 3x can come where this is 10 already it cannot be third one because it's written not on the same trip so it is either this or this if i put 8 8 here in this block then one of them has to be 3x which is not possible it means what that 8 8 can be adjusted only here these two cells and this becomes 3x now we can just put it like that only so let's write 8 8 here this is 8 and this is 8 i hope you got the point situation is that we've got x here we've got 3x here what do we have here look at the statement for b in none of the four trips do all the seats get filled look at this look at the pointer it means that this number this 3x has to be can i say a number less than 12 now it's a multiple of 3 less than 12 how many possibilities are there multiple of 3 less than 12 it's either 3 or 6 or 9 just three possibilities let me replace that either 3 or 6 or 9 multiple of 3 12 not possible because it's given here none of the four trips to all the seats get filled in bus b accordingly can i replace this x as well so I can say that there are three possible values for x. If this is 3, this would be 1, 6, then 2. If this is 9, then this would be 3. So I'll just write it like that. This is 1, 2, or 3. So let me replace this variable x, which we do not like seeing. So it's like that. For this cell, the three options are 1, 2, 3. And accordingly, the options for these cells would be 3, 6, 9. And what do we know about these two cells now here? These two, it's that they are less than 10. And only on the last trip all the seats get filled for a so this is 10 so this should be less than 10 so can i just write it like this just for less than equal to 9 like that now what are the possible options here if you look at this number 1 if i put this as 1 this total is 30 10 is gone from here 30 minus 10 would be 20 so this sum here of these three cells would be 30 minus 10 that is 20 this is 20 now if i take this as 1 19 would be left for here 19 can you make 19 out of this less than equal to 9 less than equal to 9 no not possible it means what that 1 is gone from here we can just remove this one from here i'll remove this one fine if i remove this one this 3 is gone two options left 2 if i take this as 2 2 means what 18 is left for these two 18 means the only possibility is 9 9 9 9 is possible from this but if i take this as 9 9 since this sum is same as this sum we know this this sum is same as this sum if this becomes 9 this becomes 9 they should also be equal but is there a chance no 9 plus 8 it has to be 9 plus 8 but is 8 an option here no that would be 6 in that case if this is 2 this is 6 it means this is also not possible so what does that mean it means that this 2 is also gone what is left 3 if this is 3 this has to be 9 if this is 9 what is the condition like this is 8 this is 9 and 17 in this case with these constraints can only be formed if I write this as 8 
and this is 9. There is no other possibility. I mean, you cannot make it like 15 plus 2, 17 like that because these two have to be less than equal to 9. I told you the condition here. So, this is the final table that we have got. I can just put this over here and it becomes like this. Now, we can remove all this, put it that. The final answer. Now, you can get everything from here very easily. But the important thing here, the way it happens in puzzles is to put the data like that. So, you know, all those things like the way I put that sign here, so that it reminds me that this sum, this sum of these two cells is same as the sum of these two cells and those simple things. So, do not, you do not need to make cases like that, fine. But yes, in essence, it is like making cases. This set is a very logical, very simple set which if it clicks to you can do it really quickly. And you know, do not say things like, sir, once I know this, it looks simple. But when I looked at it for the first time, it was difficult. It would be like that. So, what is the solution for this? Familiarity. How do you get familiarity? By practicing solving such questions. Doing calculations, practicing calculations, doing fast calculations, quick calculations, uh, all those things are important, right? Very important. But cracking questions like this becomes equally important. You can look at this test series. It's very good. I found many such questions. It will help you get that much desired confidence and that familiarity so that if something like this comes in the exam, you do it quick, you do it right, you get those solid marks. You know the most beautiful thing about a question like this? I will just show it to you. Look at these questions that follow here. Look at these questions. There is nothing in it. The number of passengers on the third trip of bus A, third trip of bus A is this, is what percentage of the number of passengers in the same bus on the second trip? 3 is what percentage of 9? 3 is what percentage of 9? This is the question, precisely that. What is the answer? Option B, 33.33%. As simple as that, as simple as that. Look at the second question. What is the combined number of passengers on all four trips of bus B? 9 plus 8 plus 8, this is 17, 8, 25 plus 10, 35. This is it. This is 35 and our answer becomes option C. Question 2 gone. Let us look at number 3. On the first trip of bus A, so we are talking about this. Right? What percentage of total seats remain vacant? How many seats in bus A? 10. This is 8. 2 remain vacant. 2 as a percentage of 10. What is it? That is 20 percent. What is my answer? Again option B. So question 3 gone. It takes no time. 5 seconds each question. Just that. Let us look at the last question as well. The ticket collector of bus A charges rupees X per person for a single trip. If his total collection on all four trips is 13,500, what is the value of X? You already know the number of trips of bus A. In fact, you do not even need to do all this to answer this question. Fine. So, it is 30 trips. It is given over here, right here. Fine. 30. So, what is the answer? 13,500 divided by 30. This is gone. This is 45,450. 450 there in the options? No answer would be none of these. So, it is as simple as that. Now, another important thing here, when you cannot crack a question like this, just a quick look at the questions at times can make you answer one or two. This is the best example. So, for example, you start doing this, you cannot crack it, unfortunately, for some reason. You look at this, you already know when how to get the answer because this 30 is given over here. So, look at these simple things, they actually make your task easier at times. You have to just keep your eyes open. So, how did you find this DI set? I am sure after looking at the solution, you would have thought I could have done this and not many people did this. You know what the irony is? These are the easiest questions at times in the paper. Not always. You cannot just stereotype them like that. But yes, at times these are the easiest questions and not many people do them. Make yourself familiar. You know what the problem is? Familiarity. Number two, confidence. If I ask you, do you know Tamil? Fine. So, most of you would say, no, we do not. Why? Because most of you are not born in Tamil Nadu. It is not your mother tongue. Ask somebody who was born in Tamil Nadu or Tamil's mother tongue. You say, oh, very simple. No. What, what is the change? What is the difference? Their mother tongue was not. You will have to learn it. So, these things were not taught to us in school, one. And these are things that they may come naturally to some of the people, but not to most. So, what do you have to do? You have to learn Tamil. <laughs> so, you have to learn to crack these sets. It is not that difficult. Make yourself familiar, make yourself confident and you will grow in confidence and you will do well in the day of the exam. Do this test series, do these, I think there will be two free tests already, so do them. Uh, the link is there in the description, go to them, solve them, you will grow in confidence. We have done a lot of such questions on this channel, I will put that link here as well. So, go through them, that will show you techniques of solving these kind of questions in a very 
elegant manner without breaking a sweat and this would really really hold you in good stead on the day of the exam work hard guys so uh, last few days few weeks left before the exam last big exam of the season do it well and then you know uh, just take it uh, put your best foot forward take it in the best possible manner and just hope for the best then i'll take you leave i'll see you soon with some other interesting lesson goodbye take care all the best for your exam